So I've been rolling with the roaster for so hard here that I haven't really took stopped to take time to make comparisons to the roaster and the Dualtron X2. But I don't know why, but <laughs> the roaster makes the Dualtron X2 look like <laughs> looks like a mini scooter. <laughs> but uh and it's more lighter than the Dualtron X2. Uh, the Dualtron X, it's more like a big tank. Uh, and I think we're moving to the time where lightweight scooters with a lot of power are going to become the new norm. But I just recently got these <laughs> wind guards. And I was going to put them on the, um, on the E-Move Roadster. But I decided against it because, but I decided against putting those hand wind guards on uh, the E-Move Roadster because I don't want to, I don't want to put too many things on the, uh, inside this handlebar, this carbon fiber handlebar. Uh, it's made out of nice solid material, but at the same time, I don't want to test the limitations of the strength of that material. You know, I already have this uh, side mirror in there and, and I didn't tighten it up too tight. But, uh, man, this roaster, man, it, it just shot me down the road for like seven miles and then back to the house. Like, you know, just like that. Uh, now, the Dualtron X2, it, it does good with, doing, with getting me from point A to point B at a pretty rapid pace. But I always have that lag whenever I'm uh, accelerating because of the weight of the scooter. And I can tell it instantly uh, in comparison with my riding on the roaster versus the uh, Dualtron X2. Because when I'm on the roaster and I put my feet back on that plate and I hit, and I let the throttle go, uh, she gets down the road so much quicker, so much faster. Yeah, the Dualtron X2, she has a little winding to do before she catches up and then she starts picking up gradually. But then that power is there. Because I keep talking about these percentages. But um, my P7, I have it at 97. My P8, I have it at 97. And, uh, and, and I keep it there so that I don't overstress my controllers or my motors. And it's been there for a while now. Uh, I'm showing only 3,000 here. But I got another odometer that I, put, that, that, uh, I had on here before i changed out my throttle uh that has over that has over uh four thousand miles on it so you know four and three seven over seven thousand miles close to eight thousand miles and it may be more than that i, I might be off a few numbers because i'm, I'm thinking that i'm over the ten thousand mile mark on the dualtron x2 but uh just wanted to give you guys a visual of the size comparison of the dualtron x versus the e-move roadster